from the Huskies. Right to left across your screen. Bump towards the numbers, but away from the wall. We'll play on. Hudson Shandor hops on it for UConn. Messineo throws it through the middle. Phillips from the wall. Solid breakout feed for O'Brien, who will catch up to it. Gain the blue. Stevens, two-line pass, connects with Peterson. Tried to get it over towards the perimeter. Tuck was hanging out in the area. Now it's Matthew Wood. Keep an eye on 71 in blue. There's the centering feed from him. A lot of people around this game, including yourself, Mark, have surmised that Wood may be a first-round pick come June. Yeah, a lot of talk about the kid already. Big, strong kid. 17 years old. Playing at the Division I NCAA level. Playing with a 24-year-old in Tiamonte on his line. Seven years separating those two players. They played every game together this season. UConn flying their weak side wing already. And it's Wood trying to force the Terrier aggressive offensive defenseman off the line. Zero rebounds on that previous play. Hudson with stops and starts from the blue line. Gets it forward. Buck squeezes through the low slot. Matt Brown up to the point. D to D for Hudson. Back to Brown looking for a passing sequence to the middle. UConn's wings very aggressive out high on the Terrier points. Brown's had an impressive start to his campaign. Five points to lead BU. He's had at least a point in every game thus far, including four at Michigan. The game-winning goal on Sunday, and I love this, Mark. Two assists from Matt Brown in the 9-2 to two loss. That shows me a lot of fortitude from the senior as he's the one making plays in a game where it got out of hand. Lane Hudson's got hands for days. <laughs> Lucas scoring to this point. Shots 2-1. to one. At least that's how they read in-house. In favor of Connecticut. Huskies journey into the offensive zone. Pearson sends it towards the crease. UConn had a scoring opportunity there, but it was kicked away. Looked, by, looked like McCarthy in front. Terry's got to do a better job picking up the Husky in the hot spot. Wood Drops it off, off the wall. The shot came from Harrison Reese. Leads the team in blocked shots this season. He takes it away on the wall. Scoo got it forwards for Tuck. Now Peterson curls at the wall. Drops off for McCarthy. Tons of room far side. Hudson with a pass. Shot pass of the middle for Peterson and a loud groan from the crowd. I think he surprised Peterson. Peterson mm -hmm. was going to the net for a rebound. You're right about that. There is Peterson. It's pushed down to the frozen surface. Puck rides the wall. Held in at the line, but only for a moment. As UConn heads the other way, three on three. Huskies over the line with Flynn. Flynn towards the middle. And then the two games at Michigan. Yeah. That one sort of a stalemate. UConn's going to come away with it. Gain the red line and throw it in. Duplessis out there to stop it. Came in for 35 minutes in relief in game one against Michigan. Made 12 saves, gave up three goals against. But as we mentioned before, got the win in game two. And got the Terriers to two and one overall. He slip will gain entry here from the circle. That shot up into protective netting and a good stick from Weberas. Joe and Michael coaching on opposite sides. Joe now with BU. Michael joined UConn when Joe left. Joe joins as the associate head coach under Jay Pandolfo. Kaplan, snapper on, rebound try, goes wide and around the wall where McCarthy will grab it. That'll be upcoming here. Terriers are going to go to the power oh. play, but they score! Case McCarthy from the point. The puck had eyes, and the Terriers have even did it one. Well, Coach Pandolfo preaches pucks to the net. And there's an example there. They had a penalty coming up. Didn't even get a chance to get the extra skater out there. Worked the puck off the... Bang. Good things happen. Now based on the celebration and everybody's body language, Mark, I think it's going to be McCarthy's goal. Not sure if you saw a tip along the way or if that thing went straight in. Looks, jumps back on it. The 18-year-old freshman has it again. Wilmer 
up for Hudson. He fells a player after blasting it into his shins. Terriers trying to force it through the middle there a little bit with 15 seconds to go on the power play. Wilmer gets it. He had two goals, or a goal and two assists, I should say, against Bentley in the opener. Drop pass. Hudson looking towards the net. Rebound is covered up. Wow. So the Terriers get the equalizer from Case McCarthy, and it's 1-1 here, middle stages of the first period. Trying to send it forward, but now it's Matt Brown for BU. Ahead for Hudson. Hudson shot over the top. Percival connects with Wood. Wood, good size, decent speed. Excellent size, I should say. Decent yeah, speed for that deal. size. Yep. Yeah. Here's Wilmer. Hudson throwing it for the... Now Ryan Green up top for Hudson. Hudson steers it around. Murthy looking towards Brown, who is in front of the netminder, Turness. Peterson also surveying options. Nifty little pass to get it over to his friend Hudson. Hudson with pace. Hudson off the back end. One of the Huskies has lost his stick. Hudson recognizes, looking for the one-timer, oh. and that's friendly fire. That hurts. Peterson's down. Peterson took the eyes away from the goal. He also took the puck away from the shooter. <laughs> Lucas trying to go wide. Sends it along the wall for Percival. Out of Avon, Connecticut. Here's Daw now. Ooh, nice little sneaky. Shot rode up of McCarthy's stick a little bit there. Daw, Percival, blocked again. Terriers get it back out to center ice. Two minutes of this period into the offensive zone, but that was short-lived. There's a Monte. Trying to leave his former teammates in the dust. Wood out there with Amante. Seven years separating the birth of those two players on the same line. Not often that you see that in the collegiate game. Terriers get it in front. Kaplan lost it, go. but they score! Jamie Armstrong puts it into the back of the net, and BU's got their first lead. It's 2-1. to one. Well, we picked the right player to talk about before the game. He's just always around the puck, always around the net, making good things happen here. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one battles. Kept the puck in at the blue line, got it down low. Nobody picks up Armstrong. Forwards are late getting to pick him up there. Great age. And that should play into the Terriers' strengths. Goaltenders have swapped ends, of course. The second period is underway between two top 15 ranked teams in the country in Connecticut and Boston University. In the opener of a two-game set here this weekend, they'll be back here at Aganis tomorrow night at 7. Bernie Corbett will be back alongside with Mark Linehan. Yeah, I might cut him, keep you. <laughs> Bernie down the road at Harvard tonight. We've got 11 freshmen on the ice tonight. All of them can play, but the one thing they haven't played is in hockey each competition. And that's something else. Mm. That sure is. And Coach Pandolfo was unsolicited when he brought up the fact that UConn ended their season last year. There wasn't a direct question, in other words. Hey, do you know that UConn ended your season? He brought it up, which was interesting on the call. So they're certainly aware of it. Oh, yeah. We Terriers were on a roll last year going into the playoffs. Yeah, they were. Had a 14-1-1 in one stretch. Just came up short. No at-large bid. In fact, UConn, season-long penalty kill, 94.5%. They gave up five power play goals against 90 attempts. Well, hopefully the UConn hasn't faced a power play quite like the Terriers yet. Yeah, speaking of coaches... <clears throat> Terriers have two pretty good units. Coach Kavanaugh joked around about having a perfect penalty kill all season long. He said, well, we certainly hope it stays that way. Tongue in cheek. Terriers set it up for Hudson. Top of the circle to the middle. Peterson shot didn't get through. Terriers got that 1-3-1 one, one look where they try to get Peterson in the bump of land and get Tuck to take the goalie's eyes away. UConn trying to split the D there with Twerberg. They Maple Leafs draft pick. 
14 goals last year to pace all Huskies. Here's Hudson, excellent skater. Throwing it around for Luke Tuck, wearing an A on his jersey this year. Thrown all the way down now. Bring the other one out there. It's a competitive situation on the power play. Actually, that was the second unit. Here comes the first one now. It's a competitive situation on this power play. Yeah, they've got so many skilled kids. O'Brien went down on the half wall. He got the puck caught up in his teammates' skates, it looked like, for a moment there. Wood shoots it oh, off oh, the boy. end of the stick of Duplessis. And that was a little bit more interesting than it needed to be. We weren't lying about Wood. Yeah. There's an example right there. Young kid. Seems a little weak skating-wise. That's something that can come. If there's a weakness in his game, that's something that can, you can work on. But everything else, he's got it going. And he's only 17, exactly, so maybe yeah. not exactly used to how big his body is. Yep. I'm sure he's still growing, and that's... I have that same that problem. <laughs> they were dead last on the power play last year. Just 13.4%. That was 11th in Hockey East. And more improved to begin this season. Lucas from straight on looking for the deflection from Pearson. Played three seasons at Yale. There's Pearson. Sends it over. Nice passing sequence. Tic-tac-toe. Score. Power of the year. Richmond Hill native. Drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs, his hometown team. That must have been a real thrill. And now he's got the Huskies even against the Terriers on a power play. As the Terrier faithful is looking for a call here, Valu shot is blocked and a penalty upcoming. Coming on the Terriers down low. Yep. One of the Huskies is without his stick. Messineo goes wide. Pinches in with the extra skater out there. And now the touch up occurs. So I haven't seen an official signal. Lucas breaks it out on his own accord, drops it for Wood, gets it back. Lucas with a lane to the net, he takes it. Duplessis makes the stop. Lucas surveying Twerber going back. Door. For Connecticut, 3.06 goals per game for BU. 2.54 goals against for Connecticut, 2.47 goals against for BU. So two teams have been very evenly matched going back to the beginning of last season as the things down a little bit. Stick's still in the way when they try to set up offensively, yeah. Now it's kicked away. Wood try to sneak it short side high. Little dangle from Twerberg. Lucas was calling for it, got it back to Twerberg. Twerberg with a space, looks for the shot pass in the area of Pearson. Lucas from up top, sends it low. There's the stick coming into play that Mark was talking about a moment ago. Back to even strength as the penalty has released and we are past the halfway point of this hockey game. And a 2-2, real good one from Aganis. 5.8% last year, that was good for third in Hockey East. They're the best in the country right now. Wilmer turns on the afterburner, slows up a little bit. Hudson, D to D. You caught aggressive out high. Something down low is going to open up. Green. A couple of Hudsons out there, as is Wilmer. There's one Hudson. That's Lane. Wilmer's pass was not a good one. Said. They attacked their aggressive out high. Amante for UConn. Amante wants to get it to the net, and he's bumped off the puck by the Terriers. Same, same time, Monty. Tough kid, strong in speed. In front of the Connecticut bench now. BU's got a minute. To Lane Hudson out there. U.S. National Team Development Program. Down, looking for the low tip from Pearson. It's the same play every time. You know what they're trying to do. Terry's going to do a bit. Did a nice job there, taking away what UConn wants to do. Space from Torberg, who puts it wide. Armstrong looking to clear, and he will. O'Brien wins another faceoff, something he's familiar with. Flynn to retrieve.
stick check there to take the puck back. Shot goes. It's going to drop it along. Brown going to the net. Hudson sprayed it forward, as does Phillips. O'Brien got held up behind the net. Now Hudson walks the line, fakes, takes it around. Skillful play to get it to the middle. And now back out to the corner where Connecticut will clear. That was he slip. Nice redirection and an athletic play there by Peterson with his skates to get it to Tuck. Frazier tried to swim it, kind of. In this game, Tristan Frazier has given the Huskies the lead, and they lead three. Peterson was trying to get it to the point, but no one was home. As Lane Hudson has to go back on it. Second round draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens. Pearson collects it from behind Duplessis. Thrown into a dangerous spot and Duplessis grabs it with his blocker mitt. Minute to go on the power play for the home team. Hudson around the outside will drop it there for Tuck. And now Yukon might have numbers the other way. Bradley down the right-hand wing. He looks gassed. Not a lot of pep in his step. And now BU looking for numbers. Peterson trying to go through the wickets and almost ended up back with them. Throw off the goalie and in! Terriers score on the power play. It goes off the back of the leg of Turness and finds the back of the net. It's what? Wilmer. Well, you said it, Greg. Came back down the other way 100 miles an hour. Dylan Peterson gets the puck. Puck bouncing around. Four Terriers go to the net hard. They finally get a bounce. Bang in the back of the net. Wilma bounces it off yeah. the back of his... It's a tough way to go into the wall. Hopefully Peterson is okay. He gets back up. Peter. Tuck with speed to the outside. Thought he might have beaten his man, but he stops and dropped it there for Wilmer. Trying to get it back for Tuck. And the rolling puck ends up in the blue paint where... Lots of space and time for Green, who put it wide all day. Green getting it back, low for Tuck, who wanted the backhand feed in front. The Hockey East Rookie of the Week was Ryan Green in his first week with the Terriers. Deflection goes wide. Tuck trying to throw it back out in front. Green had it hop over his stick but it'll be held inside the zone by Hudson. Green trying to work low, and a good stick there by Kinnow. Great job by Lane Hudson keeping that puck in on the blue line. Yukon trying to catapult forwards with Lucas. He's one on three. And he scores! What a shot! Oh, goodness! Wow. Aiden Lucas! Yeah, kind of an insignificant rush. You thought Terry's had a defenseman back one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if he got a, if it was deflected off of a Terry's stick, Hudson's stick, but it was an NHL shot, top shelf, bang. 